Hi everyone. Today my topic is the topless decision tree. It is a flow diagram that in a series of steps directs the medicinal chemist to produce a series of analogs some of which should have greater activity than the lead. It effectively reduces the number of compounds that a medicinal chemist needs to synthesize to discover potent analogs. So how it is used let me explain it to you. So let us take any substituted aromatic compound. Let it be benzene with an alkyl group. To this alkyl group we are going to do modification so as to get a more potent drug. Let us put a chlorine analog at position 4 with respect to position 1. At such time we get 3 things. Chlorine position 4 with the low activity, chlorine position 4 with equal activity and chlorine position 4 with more activity. Out of these 3, the low we don't need the low activity. We don't need equal activity either. We are creating a more potent drug. Therefore, we need analog which is having more activity. To this chlorine at position 4, we reject both the other chlorines and we take more activity chlorine. Again, we add chlorine to position 3 and when we add chlorine at position 3 we again observe 3 things. Here we again get chlorine at position 3 and 4. Out of this again we are going to get 3 observations. One is low, the other one is equal and the last one is more activity. So, now activity at low and equal, we do not use this. Instead, what we do, we go for another substituent like bromine or iodine. Okay, in position number 4 to get a more potent drug. Now, the one that we have got more activity, that chlorine, At position 3 we can use the trifluoromethyl and at position 4 we can use clear chlorine and again increase if we find uh, again increase then uh, we can substitute this chlorine with a nitro group instead of uh, with a nitro group. So in this way in this way we can find out the best and the most potent drug formulation. Now here the low activity ones instead of uh, uh, chlorine at position 4 we can replace the chlorine with any methoxy group at the same position. Again we will get 3 low equal and more activity. When we get like this we can again do we can keep changing. Here we can use um, n methyl and dimethyl. So in this way we can change the substituent to get the best and the highest potent drug possible. Now topless it guides us to get the better active compounds in order to increase the holistical activity of the lead compounds. Less activity go. This is less activity so it will go with another group instead of chlorine. Why? Because it uh, chlorine is electronegative and it is highly electron withdrawing. So we are using methoxy group. When we get uh, more in this methoxy group, when we are getting more, again we are trying with NME2. So like this, now again here in this activity, we are getting more activity here. So here again we will replace NME2 with uh, methyl or again NME2. Okay, like this we keep on changing the substituents to get the best potent drug. This is observed in different kinds of softwares. This is a dry lab synthesis. 
here we use three different kinds of softwares like glide gold or symbol these are software programs where program is already designed just to change the substituent we get the different result the best result is finally taken into count as lead compound thanks for watching keep watching keep watching don't forget to share like and subscribe